Hello, this is Eric Martinson from the Swedish rock band Eclipse. May the rock be with you. Hello. Hey, Eric, how are you, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time today. Yes, no problem. It's an honor. Hey, what a great setup you've got behind you there. Uh, well, yeah, I, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's amps and guitars, I guess. It's I'm in my <laughs> studio at the moment. I'm I'm sitting mixing. So I'm, between interviews right now, I'm I'm mixing a Swedish band. So so it's just on and off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that in a minute. But firstly, and most yep. importantly, welcome to May the Rock Be With You, mate. It's uh, I've loved your band for a long time, so thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. No worries at all. Now, you are heading over to Australia for the first Glam Fest. Can you tell us what can people expect from an Eclipse set in 2023? Well, hopefully a great rock and roll set with great songs. And it's going to be, I guess it's going to be focused on the new album, Wired, of course, but uh, we're only playing a short, like I think it's 45 minutes a night, so it's mm. it's not going to be many songs. We, we, I think we're going to change the set a, a bit every night. Just if, if people attend several shows, if it happens, they will at least see some new songs as well. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a yeah, it's going to be a big fight over set list because we usually fight even if we have two hours to play songs, we still fight with songs to play. So <laughs> it's going to be right. fun. Fair enough. Now, following yeah. the success of your last two albums, I mean, there's been a bit of a buzz for you guys down here. And the last time you were here was seven years ago. What are you expecting the reaction to be after being here so long away? Well, it it's so far away and it's it's so hard to relate to that people can actually listen to our music on the other side of the world, which is it's amazing. It really is, you know, you're sitting here, it's for you, it's evening and it's super hot and it's warm as summer and for me, it's in the morning and it's snowing outside. It's winter, <laughs> so it's uh, it's it's you know, I, I'm I'm thrilled that people will. It's some people will show up and you know you know know some songs even. So I'm um, my expectations are not you know like high, but it's I'm I'm really looking forward to it. As are we. I, I missed you in 2016, so I can't wait to see you when you come up to Sydney. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be great. We have some extra day and one extra day in Sydney as well after the last show. So we're going to try to enjoy, see a little of the city. That's the way. Now, you were here, as I said, in 2016. Do you have a great memory of that last trip down here? Yeah, it was fantastic. It was in Melbourne and uh, we were there for a week. Mm. And I really enjoyed, you know, the gig and, the, you know, the Melodic Rock Festival back then. It was it was fantastic. Andrew McNeese organized everything. And, uh, but it, what I really liked was, you know, the atmosphere, the pubs, you know, just being in Australia. I've yep. said it before, but it's Australia is it's like almost being in Europe, but it's very different in a way as well. So it's 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 familiar but still different. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Now with Glam Fest, positive it's a great what was that, sorry? In a very positive way. We I like really that. enjoyed we, it. Yeah. We yeah. do like positivity. Now great uh, Glam Fest is a really great lineup. Is there anyone you're excited to see on the bill you haven't seen before? I, to be honest, I haven't seen a single band on the lineup before. Hmm. It's it's amazing because we played so many festivals throughout the years, and I think I've seen every band, but I haven't seen any of these guys before. Nice. And and okay. I, I didn't listen to them as a kid. You know the older bands, you know like uh, the Faster Pussycat and Tough and Enough Snuff. I've never listened to them at all because when I was a kid, no one had those records because you know back then there was no Spotify or internet or. <laughs> <laughs> anything sure. so you only knew the music that the, you know the friends had and you know the neighbors and friends at school you know you borrowed albums and but no one had any of those so they were not big in the, you know i'm living in the middle north of sweden so it's yeah. far away from la all right so you're gonna uh you have a good time seeing some new bands for the first time as well it's gonna be wonderful i've never met any of them so we'll probably hang out backstage and and have a chat Excellent. I spoke to Stevie Rochelle from Tough this morning, actually, and he was saying yeah. that the same sort of thing, but he's been on cruises when you've been playing. Same bands have been on there, but you've never been able to see each other and play and you know catch no. up. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna, yeah, that's going to be really fun. Be a good time. Nice. Now, yeah. new music-wise, we had Wired back in 2021, and the band seems to work on a two-year cycle. Can we expect anything new this year from the band? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we love to write new mu music. It, you know, that's that's what keeps the band going. It, I think it's it, that's what inspires us to do new albums and see what we can come up with. Uh, so uh, there is a new album in the works. Uh, we have a lot of songs. So uh, hopefully, 
by the end of this year, there will be a new record from Eclipse. Excellent. We will, start, we, uh, we will start recording after we're back from Australia. Okay. Do you want to throw one or two brand new ones in and see what we think down here? Uh, no, we haven't rehearsed any one of them yet, <laughs> but because they're all in like in in simple pre-production yet, yeah. so we, we don't. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. Most of the songs don't even have lyrics yet. They are like that's all right. Instrumental, yeah. forty-five minute instrumentals. That's all. No, we don't want that. Uh, yeah. no. <laughs> now, there is just so much good music coming out of Scandinavia. Why do you think it is that Scandinavian music is so superior to everything else out there today? Uh, well, if you think they're superior, peer, that's great, but. Yeah. Uh, I've been asked this many times before, and uh, you know, of course, we have this musical history with folk music, and it's, uh, this it's it's free. You can you can go and teach your, to play an instrument for free in school mm. or after school, and you have all that. But I think it's uh, what modern, uh, you know, the modern music is that you know they had ABBA, of course, who made it in the you know all over the world. They were famous oh, yeah. they had number one hits in america and in uk in germany yeah. and then the, in the late 70s there were more bands coming out of sweden that had number ones in america and uk which made it possible for other bands if, if they can make it then we can make it and it started everyone was kind of inspired by that then you had like rock set and mm -hmm. europe and you know there was every five years there was a new band who had a number one hit in in america or uk which made it you know it inspires so yeah, right. then we have all these, uh, you know, this fantastic melodic rock music, you know, Europe and Treat and Hardcore Superstar and all those bands are, are fantastic. Uh, you know, a band called Heat, we have, they, you know, when they when they release a record, we get inspired from them and they get inspired from our records. And we know it's, it's, it's a competitive, but in a, in a very positive way. Nice. Heat were just here for the first time ever a few months ago and put on the best show that I think I've seen in years. So, you know, you guys are just delivering the great stuff over there yeah they are they are they are a fantastic live band they certainly are now you mentioned you were working on something what are you working on can you tell me uh right now i'm i'm working on a small swedish band called rocket love okay but i'm i'm, I'm a full-time mixer that's what I, I do i mix a lot of records so it's all from you know from death metal to country music nothing wrong with but that a lot of hard a lot of hard rock excellent i love that i look forward to hearing it now it can be very easy to say what can change over a certain amount of time. But for you, what's the one thing that's always remained the same about Eclipse? It's, uh, the, the songwriting. It's it's all about the songs. I think it's about the music, the love for, the you know, our love for music mm -hmm. and playing live, of course. But uh, never, it should never be good enough. It should always be the best we have, you know, Every night we play live. Every time we do a record or write song, we always try to try our very best to make the best possible we can for. So every record we can, we can. There's not a single record we could have made any better during those circumstances we had. So we always deliver our you know the best we can. I think that's always the same for us. Yeah, right. So how did you go during the last couple of years where we were essentially locked down forever? Did you was that a really uh, good time for you? Was that an inspiring time? Did you write a lot during the lockdown periods? Yeah, we did the Wired album during that period. In the beginning, it was kind of relaxing because we had just been touring for the previous record, Paradigm. We toured a lot for that record. And so in the beginning, it was like, wow, this is relaxing. We can just stay at home, no gigs, no traveling, just yeah. be with the family. All the weekends are free. We don't have to like, if I'm going to have a dinner with someone, it's like, yeah, I can do it in nine weeks, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Now it's like, yeah, I can. when are you free? Uh, well, every weekend, forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right yeah so that was kind of That's relaxing good. but after but after two years it was starting to you know wear us down as well because we're like can we ever are we gonna you know is the band gonna exist or or any band gonna exist after this because you know yeah. band is about being together is when when you don't see each other for almost two years that's but it, we, tough. We, we survived yeah. Excellent. Well, of course you did, and you're coming down here, so that's even better. Now, yeah. I always like asking this question because it's a fun little one to do. It's called I Wish I Wrote It. So if there's one song in the entire world you wish you'd written, what would that be and why? Oh, well, there's so many great songs. Well, I well, I wish I wrote one of those like uh, Last Christmas or something because <laughs> yeah. that would <laughs> make it an instant hit for forever. Yeah, because there, uh, you know, just the payment after each Christmas is going to be, you know, my yeah. living and my kids' living is going to be 
secured. So I probably said last Christmas, wham. <laughs> or, or Mariah Carey's Christmas song, the one that just never goes away, mate. That, that's a yeah. money spinner. <laughs> yeah. Love it. But, oh, there's so many great songs uh, throughout rock history. It's, it's oh, I can't even imagine which one. Uh, skip. <laughs> <laughs> I'll skip it next. Now, I wanted to Thanks. ask about Wet W E T. Hands down, yep. one of my favorite projects. Any word on oh, something wonderful. happening with those guys anytime soon? Yeah, we we uh, funny you asked. We we just had a discussion yes last night about you know maybe we should do a new record and we started talking about it. Well, because because Jeff is over there and you know we we don't tour at all. So so we you know we only meet up when it's time to make a record, which is. Hmm. Kind of strange, but it's we still consider us a band, but we just don't play much. We play a few so a few live sets, maybe one every second year. All right, we'll have to change that. Glamfest uh two, you can come down as WET, that'd be amazing. Yeah. A lot of people asking about you know playing the wet should do live uh, live sets and uh, we've been asked for tourings and, and tours and um festivals for all these years, but we, no, with Eclipse, our schedule, Jeff's schedule with, you know, Transiberian Orchestra, his live thing and whatnot. It's hard to make it happen. Fair enough. Now, what does being in a band like Wet allow you to do that you feel you can't or wouldn't do as part of Eclipse? I say with Eclipse, I always try to push myself or the band to in, in, into new territories to make new music. And, you know, it's it's very personal in a way because it's it's if you don't if someone says they hate eclipse they they kind of hate my songwriting oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but not not that i care that much but it's like it's it's a kind of a personal project and it's it takes a lot of energy with wet it's more like if it's a great song and even if it sounds like a like a journey song or if it sounds like a you know whatever song we mm. if it's a great song then we see that's good enough for us which just makes it kind of more relaxing but that can also be a, it doesn't mean that we don't care. It's just that we, if we write a song like that for Eclipse, it's like, yeah, it's great, but it sounds like White Snake. We can't use it. We, we, it's got to sound like Eclipse. Yeah. So, uh, so with the, yeah, so with Wet, it's more like if it's, if it's a good song, that's, that's all it takes. I love that. And let's hope there's yeah. many, many more in the many years to come. Yeah, there yeah. are. So what is left for you to do as a band that you haven't yet had the chance to do? I don't know. Well, lots. I, I guess. I guess we do what a rock band do. We make records and we play live, and I think that's that's the whole point of and you know meeting people and drink beer yeah. and have a good time. I think that's what it's all about. And uh, I like it as a band. You know, yeah, stay together and keep on doing this because you know it's a it's a privilege to have a band that people actually care about. Because I spent many of of you know the first ten or fifteen years of Eclipse. No one gave a shit about the band. No one, you mm. know, even if they you gave them records for free, they wouldn't even put it in the CD player or press play on Spotify. Wow. And nowadays, we have the privilege that when when we release something, pe- people care. Some people care, and they they wait for the record, they buy the record, which is a it's a it's a big privilege. Mm. So we don't take that for granted. I I'm, I've I spent more more time of my career when no one gave a shit. So. Uh, yeah, all everyone starting out as a new band. It's 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 tough if you're not like, like an instant success, but not many are. Yeah, no, I was looking before as well. Even like Viva La Victoria is almost up to like 23 million plays on Spotify. Yeah, it's amazing, it's unbelievable. Like, it, it's it play. It's like twenty thousand plays every day. Yeah, well, so twenty thousand times people play that song every day. Brilliant. Ever since it was released, it's unbelievable. Well, I was three today, just so you know. So there you go. Yeah, okay, point. wonderful. Okay. <laughs> There's point zero 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 cents for you. That's that's all good. Yes, yeah, wonderful. Now, but it's I'll hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah, it's, there's it's hundreds of thousands of people listening to melodic rock to our band yeah. every you know every month. There are like three hundred fifty thousand listeners a month. Yep. Melodic rock. You know, when we started this band, people laughed at us because we play this kind of music, and nowadays mm-hmm. it it actually works. People, you know, times have changed change yeah well i love these times because i think it's some great music coming out that does sound like this the aor stuff and the melodic rock has always been a favorite i'm glad it's really starting to take off again yeah me too it certainly is now what i do with everybody is i get them to look ahead to the future so i want you to finish this sentence for me with a prediction by the end of 2023 okay. eclipse will have released a brand new fantastic record and will be out on, on a big european tour 
I like that. That's that's a great thing to look forward to. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And I, well, we I, I like... pro- uh, and I know it's kind of it's going to be true as well. So, <laughs> oh well, that, well that's, that's great. Huh? It's a good prediction, yeah. a good true prediction. Eric, thank you so much for your time, mate. Absolute pleasure to talk to you. Like I said, loved your band from the start. I can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's going to be great. Looking forward to meeting you. Thanks, mate. Same to you. Bye bye, your beer. Yeah. I, I look forward to that. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. bye.